Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Map It Forward, friends. I'm your host, Lee Safar, and this is episode five of a five-part series on leading yourself leading yourself and others in uncertain times. Uh, in this episode, we are talking mindset and specifically a growth-focused mindset. Uh, usually when we are entering a, a challenging time, we brace for the worst. In this episode, I want to talk about bracing for success. That may sound a little counterintuitive, but I promise you, it will make sense in a second. This podcast is brought to you by Mapper Forward's new Patreon community, the Global Coffee Think Tank. Check the show notes or head to patreon.com forward slash Mapper Forward to find out how you can become a member today. Okay, so whenever I talk to clients in the coffee industry about uh, small business ownership, I use the analogy a lot of the time of an island and an ocean. And whenever somebody embarks on the journey of becoming a small business, they are on the shoreline and they've decided to get into a boat and they're going to go on a journey in a boat. The kind of boat that they choose and how they prepare that boat, uh, how well they know the boat, how well they know the seas ahead of them, how well they understand the wet weather patterns, uh, are they able to swim, how many people are they taking along in their boat with them? All of these things determine the journey ahead of you. And once you set off from the shoreline of the island or the, the, the land that you are sailing away from, which was your safety net, the further and further you get away from that, the less and less likely you are to go back to it and so the further you allow yourself to go into deeper waters and greater potential for challenging and choppy seas ahead uh, the more likely you are to continue along that journey but whether you survive that journey or not is a different story we are if we continue that analogy we are at coming into a time where i believe that we have a tidal wave coming at us in our boat however big or small your boat is we're all going to be facing a tidal wave and this is not just a a big tidal wave this is one of those tidal waves where we actually don't know where the top is. We just know that at some point we are going to see the top of this tidal wave. And as to whether we can row up the tidal wave to get to the top or not is going to be a determinant factor of whether we survive the tidal wave. Now, people survive tidal waves. They survive tsunamis. They survive a number of devastating catastrophic events and in fact people thrive during their times because of a number of skill sets that they've acquired during their life whether it's grit or perseverance or resilience or the gift of the gab being able to convince people to support their business uh, whatever it is the challenging time ahead doesn't have to be catastrophic for you. Even though you are facing catastrophic times, it doesn't need to mean that your business will experience its demise. Because in challenging times, there are many problems that need to be solved. And as long as the revenue streams that you have solve problems, you should do very well during this time without causing suffering for other people. There are some people that thrive during catastrophic times by taking from people and ripping people off and taking advantage of them. That's not the kind of thriving that I'm talking about because I don't believe that all money is just money. 
I believe that the way you make your money and the way that you find success has a lot to do with the quality of the life that you'll live. So if you can approach this coming time with integrity and with the mindset of thriving through this and finding solutions to problems that people actually have, I believe that you will find continued growth and success through the challenging times that we are facing moving forward. We will soon be releasing uh, on-demand learning systems that will help you create custom acquisition plans for those processes. And the, the custom acquisition planning that we do with clients has reaped many rewards but understanding what problems there are out there and what revenue streams you can create to legitimately solve problems for your customers is going to be very important. An example of this in the real world in coffee will be that as inflation continues to take hold, your customers will want to come into the cafe once a day but they may not be able to afford to come the second day. So how can you create, sorry, a second time in one day? So how can you create a revenue stream that helps solve their problem of, gosh, I love the coffee that I drink at Lee's Cafe, um, but at I can't afford to go in there twice because I don't have that, that extra income. Lee's Cafe is going to turn around and say, well, what if I create a single serve option that my customer can take home so that they can continue to enjoy the coffee that we serve them, but they can brew it at home themselves for, let's say, a quarter of the cost is what it costs to have it in the cafe. You've gone and created another revenue stream. It solved a problem for somebody and you maintained whatever money they were going to spend on that second cup of coffee in your business rather than it going to a supermarket that was giving them a shitty coffee experience that they weren't going to enjoy. So that's one example of strengthening your revenue stream by understanding the scenario and understanding the impacts it will have on your business if you lose that customer and how you can bring all of that together using a growth mindset so that you can continue to grow throughout very challenging times. So I hope that you found all the information in this series to be helpful. Remember, we have a Patreon group through Discord that is constantly exploring these ideas and these topics. Uh, we're really just getting started. You can join it for as little as $3 a month and we'd love to have you. If you do need one-on-one -on -one consulting, you can contact us through our website or send an email to support at mapputforward.org or contact us through our socials. I want as many businesses out there in the coffee industry to thrive through this uh, situation. I hope that you do and that you find continued success, no matter how, how high the top of the tidal wave is that's coming. Peace, love and peanut butter, friends. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks, friends. If you enjoyed this video, here's what you should check out next. Consider supporting Mapper Forward on Patreon and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave.